Hey guys, so I've got one more, or not one more, the next, I rather, sketchbook tour of my 2018 journals. This is my favorite journal of the year. This one is um, the Stillman and Burn Nova series, I think, which has the tan paper, the tan pages rather. And that was my first time working with like a toned color paper other than like a white or ivory, whatever. And I really loved it. I think that my best work was in this journal. So let's take a look at it. Um, this one here, so the first time when I first got this one, I wrote like, I think you can still barely see it here. My, there was my name in there. And, um, in case of like found, please return to blah, blah, blah. And I left it blank, kept going with the rest of it and then finished this page last because I realized I just hated having it blank and, uh, decided to put all that information at the back of the book instead of the front. And it was really a lesson on like learning to cover up your work, which I do all the time. I make lots of mistakes and then hate it and then just start from scratch. So in this particular case, I tried to paint something, hated it, and then repaint it again and ended up with this. And this was uh, based off of a photograph that I found on Instagram from one of my favorite um, accounts. And I just love the color scheme. Lots of blues, purples, pinks, and just the reflection of the water I loved. And, um, yeah, one of my, one of the first pages and one of the last ones I painted, of course. That's how it goes, right? So, this was the actual first page that I painted in the sketchbook, and I really loved it. This was India ink, and I think it was, this, I think it was a different color ink for the background as well. And this is mainly a test to see how, uh, how the pa paper would handle uh, India ink because it's one of my worst ones for bleeding through or ghosting to the other side of the page. And I was just very pleasantly surprised, like absolutely no problem. It could handle basically anything I threw at it, which was pretty great considering that this was the like thinner paper compared to their Zeta series, which is extremely thick. This one um, was a little bit thinner paper, but it still handled everything I threw at it. So love it. Absolutely love it. All right, this was just filler. I just needed to get some frustration out. This was again India ink. Um, yeah, originally this was a very, uh, this was like someone's arms coming out of water and you know, changed it to be a little bit darker. <laughs> This was the first time I used Koi watercolors on toned paper. Um, so Koi watercolors, Sakura Koi watercolors, um, they're not my favorite. I think in a different video I mentioned them, I think it was my in my favorite watercolors video, that their watercolors are like almost a gouache. And I didn't really like how they worked on white paper, but on toned paper is where they really shone. I, I really did enjoy using them on toned paper, so that was kind of the, the test, and uh, yeah, really loved how, how it works specifically on, on this kind of paper, so. I'm going to go through the, this one a little bit quicker, mainly because um, it's much longer than the others, so I don't want this video to be too long. Um, this was the year that I really fell in love with uh, using ballpoint pen. I used to do it in high school, just like doodles and stuff, as everyone does when you're taking notes, but I really learned about the versatility of it um, this year, and I really love it, and I'm not, not too great at it. Like, I'm still learning quite a bit and making a lot of mistakes, but yeah, falling in love with it slowly, so. Um, also the year that I'm really falling in love again with pencil crayons. I didn't really use them very much before, and I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, pencil crayons or colored pencils. I, I, from where I come from, it's pencil crayons. But yeah, basically colored pencil. And this was the year that I kind of picked them up again and really fell in love with just how how much you, that you can do with them. So yeah, totally love it. This one was gouache. It's another one where 
it's so weird because when I post my work on Instagram, I honestly just never know what's going to work and what's not going to work. And this journal was a really big lesson in that because there's so much stuff where I'm just like, eh, about it. Like, I'll paint it. Like, this one in particular, I had really high expectations. And then when I finished it, I was like, nah, you know, like, it's okay, but it's nothing great. And then I posted it and I got just a resounding... Um, feedback from it like everyone loved it and I I was like really <laughs> like this 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 particular journal was a big lesson in that so very very interesting very you never really know what your audience will enjoy so please excuse the typo on this one it's wicked isn't that's not how you spell it <laughs> oops this one is again one of my uh, favorite pages of the sketchbook um, this is actually me. The original photo that I used was of me. It was my sister and I went out to take pictures of a sweater that I knitted and I was really proud of, but in the end it wasn't, it didn't turn out to be my favorite sweater. It didn't quite turn out how I wanted it to. Um, but while we were outside, uh, she took a photo of me on my phone while I was taking a picture of her with our DSLR and I really loved how it turned out. So I turned it into sort of an impressionistic Van Gogh-ish type of thing and this was with gouache right here so this was just a bunch of Canadian stamps I think I have um, I don't remember if it was my neighbor gave me a bunch my grandfather also gave me a bunch the Canadian ones I specifically think were my neighbor but yeah it just had a ton and I was like well let's put them somewhere this is right after watching Thor Ragnarok I don't know if you can recognize it but it's Tessa Thompson in one of her photo shoots, except I made her look like an alien because uh, skin tones using watercolors is still a foreign concept to me that I am trying to learn. <laughs> Another page using a uh, pencil crayon that I really love how it turned out. And yeah, this page, or sorry, this journal has a lot of blue in it too so I don't know if I did that intentionally or not um, so if you watched my last video of the Stillman and Burn uh, Zeta series notebook I had a painting with like a galaxy type of thing behind and I used this I hated how that one turned out so I decided to redo it completely so this is kind of a mirror of that one and um, yeah I definitely love this one a lot more so you know if something doesn't work out do it again. I know I do all the time. Another page. I wasn't really thrilled. Like as as much as I really love the toned paper in the sketchbook, I also found that I can't work with it the same way that I've worked with other sketchbooks before. So in this particular case, that did not work out for me. I don't like how how this turned out. It would have looked better on white paper. So, but you know, you learn. This is another one of my favorite pages. Um, this year, I my goal for 2018, rather, was to learn more about my personal finances and how how it affects, um, like how I how I think about buying things because I've realized that I kind of do what my mother has always done, which is just like buy indiscriminately. And I end up with a bunch of junk, basically. And why is this not focusing? Let's focus. There we go. Um, and I did a renovation of my bedroom this year and realized I own so much stuff that I never use, never really think about. And I ended up donating and getting rid of about 70% of my possessions. So this page was really about sort of thinking about consumption and thinking about how I want that to change and also realizing just how much of my money goes to things that are completely unnecessary and learning how to better manage that sort of thing. So this was this was the year for that um, and I'm really hoping I can take that further next year because yeah I'm not great with money because no one ever taught me any of that and being an adult you kind of just assume that you know, you're supposed to just know these things, but no, you actually have to go out there and learn about them, which is unfortunate when you don't know you're supposed to go out and learn about them. Um, this page, sorry about the glare there, um, 
another one of those pages just like the one before where I had no idea I was going to get such a reaction to this. It was just um, using a, a cutout to cut out these different colors, or not colors, but these different bits of the sky from things I've collected. Because whenever I find good magazines, I'll cut out the things that are, I'm interested in and then uh, categorize them by like color or concept or whatever. And in this particular one, I had like a whole folder of skies. And I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. So I decided to just cut them out and paste them down, which is very easy and a very simple concept. But this page had an absolutely insane amount of like likes and comments on Instagram. And I just didn't understand that because for me, it was, um, it was so simple. It was so easy. And yet people just really adored it. And it felt kind of like, yay, because people like my work, but at the same time, uh, there are certain um, other pages where I'm like, I put so much work in this and people are like, mm, you know, maybe not this time. So I, I just, I never really know what's, what's going to hit home for people and what's not. But either way, it was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I've learned, I've learned a lot from this journal. This one, again, one of my favorite pages. This is actually my coworker is a nature photographer, and I on her Instagram I saw this fox, and I'm like, I gotta draw that. That looks really cool. And the text, which I'll read because I love it. Um, so there are danger flood signs all over my neighborhood right now, and the sun is shining, and it hasn't rained in days. And it's the same with us. Well, after the trauma, we still see reminders of the danger, and we're hyper aware. It takes time for the danger signs to get taken down. Allow yourself that time. So, a reminder to myself that healing is never linear. This is probably one of my favorite pages. Um, this is after I took a picture outside the airplane from when I was flying uh, to Scotland this year and decided to paint it. I really like how that turned out. This is some more pencil crayon. This is ink. And yeah, I don't really think I did a good job on her skin tone. Like I said, it's still one of the hardest things to learn, but. Some more ballpoint pen. This page, I don't know why, but it reminded me of Hermione and Harry Potter. Sorry, not Hermione, Ginny. Ginny and Harry Potter from the Harry Potter series. Don't know why, but just the vibe I got. Uh, this is another page I really loved because I don't know if you can see, but this is actually washi tape. Someone gave me a really cool idea on Instagram. They're like, if you match it up and then cut out the excess, you can use it to fill in spaces. Decided to give it a go. I really love how it turned out, but I gotta say, it takes forever to do and really hard to cut, so. There you have it. So again, this was the Stillman and Burn Nova series. My, probably my favorite sketchbook of this year. I hope you guys liked it. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you have a favorite page. And uh, see you guys next time. I've got one more coming up, so.